Hey -o, tweakers! Alright, so the update happened and they made Crimson Abyss easier. Not that they should have. I, I, I don't think that was a good thing. I think it was relatively challenged properly. It was, it was posing the proper challenge. Up till now, if you wanted to be able to beat level 15 of Crimson Abyss, you did need uh, an X30 Mooka, right? But the developers, in their infinite wisdom, decided to make tanks viable for this. Now, let's see. So, this is not my main account. So, as you see, I am definitely uh, hard stuck. But maybe we'll try a tank in here later. I don't have any of the good tanks, but maybe we'll try a bad tank. So, they said they were going to update their strategy. They did. All right. So, recommended heroes. Let's, let's, let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Recommended heroes. You see the tanks are all here. Um, you can't see Hercules under my head, but Hercules sucks, so just uh, disregard that. Boar is okay. Why did they do Oisa dirty? Really? Come on, man. Oisa is awesome. But uh, they definitely have um, the tanks in here now. Uh, you know, oh, they called them heavily armored heroes to maintain a larger blah, blah, blah. Anyways, what, what they did is they made it so that tank heroes constitute three characters. So before... Um, the current strategy was you were using a Leo. A Leo could get you up till around 13, but you really needed a well, well, well built Leo. And you needed a, basically 13 and higher. You need um, very, 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 very highly developed teams. Now, you could get away with Leo in 13, but I think 14 and 15 you did need Mooka. If, you, if I am wrong, please say so in the comments, but I think that that was the case. Now... Um, you probably don't need Mooka, which is good because I really did not want to uh, X30 my Mooka, and I didn't. I, I, I had been currently farming. My farming level was level 12, or level 11, sorry, level 11. I had never beat 12 until today. So, um, let's go to some footage, uh, and I want to show you what it looks like now, uh, and it is easier. So, here's the first run I did. Very, very first run of the day. This is stage 12, right? So up until this morning, stage 12 for me had gone unbeaten and I was farming stage 11. So what I did was I took Leo out. Uh, this is the same formation. Um, this is, uh, the commander is a plus one ultimate Dan and a plus one all skills Anpu. Um, so, and then I think the middle row is plus attack, and then the back row is plus, I think, 750 attack or whatever. That's the commander. So, I was running the same, this same prototype, the Divine Nucleus, for summoners. But then I was running Prism Amulet because I was running Leo. Now, without Leo, I can run my uh, Ruler's Ring, which is the uh, summoner's... Um, I think this heals, correct me if I'm wrong, but it heals the summoner every time a summon dies think that's what it does so adds more survivability very very much that's very 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 good and then i was running i am running flashpoint just for the overheals to absorb some healing now this is the first run so let's see there you go as you see, whoa, 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 that was some critical information now let me see if i can't pause it oh never mind anyways that was just proof that i had not beaten stage 12 so new health bar cool all right four minutes so <clears throat> this tank, what they did is they also reworked um, <clears throat> Panda. They reworked Panda so that he gets um, damage reduction at the start of battle, but only for 80 seconds. So 80 seconds is uh, not even a minute and a half. Uh, and you see this is a four minute fight. It usually gets down there. So why, and surprisingly, let's let it run out, Panda is very, 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 very tanky in the first um, 80 seconds. As you see, he just took a chomp and his health bar did not move, did not budge. Now watch what the slam does. Again, health bar, full. So yeah, they did some good work with that rework to Panda because for 80 seconds, he is a true, 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 true tank. Now, even stage 11, Leo would take some big old hits, right? And as you see right there, the breath didn't budge me. 
did not budge me. Um, and actually, I did this whole fight with Ampu, as you see, kind of like right here behind my head. My Ampu, his ultimate is turned off. Um, in fact, let's turn my head off so you can watch my health bars. So we are one minute in. So we got 20 more seconds of uh, super armor on our panda. I know it's not called super armor. It's called like damage deflection, as you see right there. 0 0.02 meter knockback because I have 15 units. Barely moved. So this is on full auto with Anpu's ultimate turned off because previously what I had been doing was um, running him in auto at the beginning and then turning it off uh, after when it got down to like now so that I could control how many ads he had out, right? Because I didn't want to be killing the ads. So now Panda, see right there, he took a big old hit of damage, a big old chomp. Got a big old, he's missing an arm, he's missing a toe, he's missing a finger, he's missing one of his shields. He uh, becomes a lot less tanky um, after 80 seconds, but he does do a little bit of damage. Now, it is uh, minuscule compared to what the summoners are doing, but he does do it. And remember, this is stage 12. I had not beat stage 12 because oftentimes my Leo would die. So you got to heal him up because there you go. He just took another huge hit of damage, uh, but... Um, on full auto, uh, these guys do power through because these guys are all on. As you see, auto, 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 auto. This is off, uh, but I would run this on auto. You'll see that in the next uh, footage. And boom, look at that. Pandy, Panda, Pandy, Panda is almost dead. There you go, 11 units, didn't move. And then, let me just fast forward, and he's dead. And he's dead. And he's dead. But, as you also saw, whoop, back it up. My panda also died, right? So, stage 12, panda dead. Dead panda. So, first 80 seconds, he's a god. For the rest of the fight, he's not. Okay? So, I gotta move my camera so I can pull up the extra footage for you guys because um, Panda is not the one you want to bring Panda is not the one you want to bring the true hero of this fight is none other than Zeta so same exact setup as you see this is also level 12 um, and I all I did was put Zeta in here now Zeta does have a herald set So a four piece of herald two piece of vigorous HP HP damage reduction hands head and boots uh, Can't tell you exactly how much uh, health she's got, but she is immortal zero Fully talented as well So yeah, yep use the stamina potion there Dalar. So this time I turn Ampu auto on since I realized that when I recorded the last footage it was off now I will say that Zeta does not do as much damage as Panda but let, we'll let it roll she is far more tankier she is she just she she is a tank so as you see she, that that shield so she's in a common common state of damage deflection or whatever you want to call it, the damage reduction right hers is based on her ability see there you go it was down for a little bit and then it was back and if you see that's a huge old chunk of shield because she has the one ability where she gives herself a shield based on based on hp and that is a huge huge buffer damage buffer see just took a big bite there still in the green right so there you see it dropped off no no resistance and there it's back so this fight um stage 12 uh it's it's all zeta it's the zeta show it is the zeta show so now i can farm stage 12 or level 12. now i was attempting level 13 um but uh after 12 where zeta um it wasn't an issue keeping Zeta up. Zeta does just, just fine at Immortal Zero, staying up on her feet, at least in four stage 13. 
or level 13, whatever you want to call it, level stage. But I was getting to the point where I was, uh, it's a DPS race now for me. So I was able to hang, but eventually, um, Ervalepi here, Ervalepi, hey, I said that right the first time, cool. He would uh, knock down this barrier and I would lose my uh, characters, right? So uh, it was a race, a time race. So if I want to beat stage 13, 14, and 15, uh, damn it, I got to turn my head off. As you see, I got Ampu, Immortal 3. Dan is just Immortal 1. So I, I do need more evolution levels on my characters. Uh, because, yeah, I wasn't able to beat it. Now, maybe uh, Dan is Hypervolved level 120. Um, at the end of Twilight Lands, I will have another crystal. Uh, I was contemplating Panda. But I might do Ampu for the extra damage. If I get him up to 120, maybe I can be farming 13 and maybe beat 14. I don't know. So, uh, But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to tell you guys that um, tanks are very, very, very good in Crimson Abyss now. And specifically, Zeta is your best tank. As you see, we're down here. 19% health. Zeta, I don't think her, she has, I, I haven't been watching too closely, but I don't think she's ever dipped under her green, right? She's just staying up here in this map. Oh, there it is. I've been proven wrong. So she did, but now boom, look at that. She's fully healed. Not an issue, not a care in the world. She's just sitting there on her whale. I don't know if it's the whale god or the shark god because they can't seem to get it straight in their translations, but... Zeta, that's full auto. Even Ampu, full auto. Ervalepi down. Ervalepi down. So, ladies and gentlemen, they nerfed it. They nerfed it. Or they buffed us, however you want to look at it. But either way, um, you're getting more resources. So, uh, yeah, tanks are a thing. They, uh, they're now viable in PvP. <clears throat> they're needed in the Twilight Land Stage 16. And now it looks like tanks are a thing in Crimson Abyss. Now, I said I would try on my account a tank. See, this is uh, my free-to-play account. I'm stuck at 9. So let's take Leo out. Let's just chuck him. Um, as you see, Dan and Ampu are both immortal, but I'm only at level 233. Sword Valley as well is 219 because I have one character stuck at the 219 cap. Uh, I don't know who that is. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, but, uh, tanks. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's try tank. So, they say, they don't recommend Oisa. But I kind of want to bring Oisa. kind of do. kind of do. And now I understand why you might want to bring Boar. Because he gets a big old health shield. Screw it. Let's try Boar. Alright, let's try it. So, no, I don't have, uh, again, I don't have the summoner trinkets. Or the prototypes. I don't know why I call them trinkets. I do have a, a decent, right, two ultimate, middle, you know, which the middle attack doesn't help anybody. And uh, Cervalli, I don't think, ooh, that might actually be better. Two ultimates, not good, ultimate's not good. This actually might be better. One ultimate, but it's giving more healing to my Masrani, right? Um, versus two ultimate, yeah, let's do this. Okay, there we go. So let's try it. Let's see if Boar can hang. So Boar is also going to count as three units. This is the exact same lineup, albeit a little bit weaker. Uh, let me turn down the volume here on the game. Let's see how good Bory Boy does. Ooh, Boar's dead. Boar's down. Boar's down. Boar's down. Stop the recording. Stop the recording. Boar is dead. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay, uh, I don't think the elite tanks are going to cut it. Let's try. <laughs> Let's try Oisa. Come on, baby. What can you do there, Oisy? Oh, man. No, no. Oh, man, no. Oh, she she went down to three quarters health. Um, yeah, no. I'm not going to do that. Okay. All right. So, uh, guys, um, there it is. Uh, the word is in. The verdict is in. I am not the father, and you need Zeta. Okay? So, uh, her banner is over, though. So, if you didn't get her, you're screwed. But, there are still two copies available for one week in Elite Chapter. Right? 
which I haven't been doing on this account because this is my recording account for recording footage. So there you go, 30. You can go get two of them. Uh, you're going to have to spend to get that second one unless you've saved meteorites from the previous Elite Chapter. So, yeah, Oisa, who was poopy, is now necessary. All right. Okay. Going to wrap that one up right there. Till next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, put, what should I put in the in the comments? If you made it to the end of this video, put zebra. Zebra? Yeah, screw it. I'm sticking with that. Put zebra in the comments. That'll let me know what you made to the end. Uh, all of my links are in the description. Discord, my download link, my Bluestacks link, the my spreadsheet link, all my links, all the links are in the description of this video as well. If you have any questions, that's where uh, you can put it on this video. But if you really want to talk uh, real time with me, come into my Discord. All right. Till next time, guys. Later. Cheers. Peace. Go get your Zeta. And bye-bye.